All right, so here we are on Twitter Files, Episode 7. And the big news that is breaking here this week is that apparently the FBI was paying Twitter and other social media companies money uh, in order to um, do their bidding for what we have proven thus far was somewhere to the tune of three and a half million that was provided to the team that was overseeing uh, media filtering visibility filtering at Twitter and not very surprising in line with everything else that we've been learning thus far. But this is a very, I guess, sobering reality to a lot of people who for some reason didn't already know or believe that these things were happening. And it's a moment of vindication for people who did already know that this was happening because there are a lot of us. Um, I won't say that I specifically knew that about. Well, actually, yes, I will, because ever since um, ba- basically ever since that Joe Rogan podcast where Vijaya Gade and Jack Dorsey and Tim Tim Pool were all together talking about it. Yeah, it was, it, you pretty much knew since then that they were doing things with a political agenda as far as the filtration of content and who who's able to see them. Same thing when Mark Zuckerberg went on Joe Rogan. Joe Rogan has this magical thing about him where when people come on to his um, podcast, they just start telling all of the worst things that they've ever done and how they've colluded with the government. And of course, I'm joking, but not really, though, because it's happened quite a few times. And it's made his platform one of the largest politically influential platforms that there are and not by his own design. As a matter of fact, I'm pretty sure that it actually scares Joe Rogan the intensity of the information that has been put out through his platform. It's a lot of responsibility. And I get that. The exact same thing that Elon Musk seems to be feeling now that he's running the show over there at Twitter. The guy's done a lot of good work in order to put this information out here. And I just beg of you all to just read, just read and just pay attention. Pay attention to what is going on here because the information that is being released, the information that was left over to be released, meaning the information that wasn't scrubbed is only the tip of the iceberg. There's so much more that we will never know because they were able to get rid of the evidence before anybody found it. They were able to clean up the Twitter files before Matt Taibbi ever laid hands on them, before any of the reporters ever laid hands on them because of, uh, uh, what's his name, James Baker, who is still on on team, a point of contact for the FBI, even after Elon Musk had taken over, scrubbing things. We just got to keep our eyes open and watch these things in real time. Please take a little bit of time out of your day away from the Meg Thee Stallion trial and the YSL Rico case and what's happening to Sauce Walker. You know, things that I, I make videos about as well. And please go ahead and spend some time learning about healthy things, about the collusion that's going on and the utter um, trickery and treachery that has been happening in this country right underneath of our noses, right in front of our faces on both sides meaning Republicans and Democrats have been complicit in this since the invention of social media as a whole. It's not here to really fight one side or another, but I will say it is disproportionately leaning to one one side. That is very obvious. But um, I'm not here to place the blame on one side or another because people, you know, not everybody on, on the left is benefiting from this. They're all being taken advantage of. We are all being taken advantage of. So this isn't a point to be tribal. This is a point to take a step back as an American citizen and really realize the lies and the trickery and the treachery and the blinders that have been put on you and placed on you, the bridle in your mouth. Just take a look around you is all I'm saying.